all that food. A race that has become a tradition for many in Michiana is celebrating 41 years this year. And we're talking about Steve's Run. It's being held at Southwestern Michigan College this Saturday. Today is the last day to register before race prices go up. Christine Karsten joins us now live from the campus in Dwajak this morning. So Christine, it seems like this event caters to everyone, not just runners. Good morning, Trisha. It really does. There's a 10K, a 5K, and one mile fun run. So if you're not a very good runner, you don't do it very often, still come out because all this money is going towards a great cause. It's actually going towards the Stephen Briegel Scholarship Foundation. Stephen was a former student here and died from cancer. It's also going to go to, towards the Mayo Clinic for cancer research, which is important for people like Katie Hess, who was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 24 and is this year's guest speaker. At first, I was devastated, um, but something in me just kind of clicked, and it just became about beating it. At the young age of 24, Katie Hess was diagnosed with breast cancer. I actually found it myself by accident. I made an appointment right away because um, it just didn't feel right. It didn't. It didn't seem right. So I ended up going in and was initially told not to worry about it because I was so young that it was probably nothing, but they did refer me to a surgeon and he did the biopsy and was able to diagnose it. Diagnosed it as an aggressive form of stage three breast cancer that had already invaded her lymph nodes. I think that I only cried once and no one took me seriously when I told them because I was laughing. If I couldn't laugh about it at this point, I would have probably fallen apart. But as Katie was preparing herself for the thought of surgery, her support system grew even stronger. He proposed to me about the week before I had my surgery, and I spent my entire treatment time planning our wedding. After surgery came radiation and chemo. At the same time, because the cancer was so aggressive, Katie became extremely weak. She lost her hair and had to have a few blood transfusions, all while still working full time. There were times I started to feel like I might not make it through it. I just felt that bad from the treatment. But then the day came that she'll never forget. To actually hear them tell me that, you know, there was no more sign of cancer was amazing and, um, it just, it was very emotional. <laughs> and a year to the date after her first chemo treatment, she got married. He showed amazing strength um, in supporting me. I don't know how, I don't know how he did it, but we went through one of the hardest things before we even had our life together. And went on to have three beautiful girls, something that was never guaranteed because her chemo put Katie into early menopause. Right now, Katie is 36 years old, is no longer taking any medications, and is officially cancer-free. Amazing story right there. Katie encourages everyone to make sure they get checked no matter what age you are and make sure you're aware of your body. If something doesn't feel right, make sure you know that and, and go get it checked out. She also says it's extremely heartwarming to see a community come together for a race like Steve's Run that benefits cancer research, something that's so important to her. As you just heard, she experienced that firsthand. So again, this event is this Saturday. The race starts at 830. You still have time to sign up if you want to participate. All you have to do is register online. Again, prices are what they are right now. They're going to go up tomorrow. So if you do want to participate, make sure you do it today. Again, Tricia, as I mentioned, I'm going to be here on Saturday and I spoke with Katie yesterday. I'm going to get to see her again Saturday and she's going to share her story once again. So just an amazing fight and amazing woman she is. Yeah, what a powerful woman. And that was a well done story. Thank you so much, Christine. And you have fun with that run on Saturday as well. We're going to put all the information for people we'll on our website, WNDU. Dot com. Great job, Christine Carson reporting live.